Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to a very special ramble. Today, we are going to talk about the curious case of FM Council. Now, if you follow uh, Football Manager on closely on social media, you'll probably have heard of this and the stuff that's gone about and happened. It's interesting stuff. Um, if not, I'll give you sort of a brief overview as we go through. It's pretty simple. It's, it's an interesting subject that's been brought up, and I want to talk about what FM Council have done, um, um, the sort of conversation that's gone around it, and also sort of my feelings on the general sort of subject as a whole. So this is a Twitter account that I think that's all it is at the moment called FM Council, and they appeared only recently on June the 28th with the hashtag We Are The Community, which is a sort of popular um, hashtag used for football manager. We didn't use the football manager hashtag, which is... You know, weird in itself. Uh, we are looking forward to launching our new exciting project soon, using our years of FM wisdom and experience to consult and help all in the community. Thanks to the warm welcome, and please stay tuned, FMC. I don't know why they have to end each one with FMC. You know, we know who you are. You tweeted it. So your name's there. So this appeared. I don't think anything, you know, they're, they're a brand new account, so nothing was really sort of, nobody really sort of took any notice. But... I'm all for it. Great. If somebody wants to help the, the, the community out and help people, that's all good in my book. Um, they recommended a couple of bits. And then they did a sort of introductory picture image thing with a bit of text. For attention of the FM community. We at FM Council, so we, must be more than one person, aim to help football manager content creators worldwide improve their, the standard of their content. We will offer both paid and freemium content. So this is important to remember this. What they're saying is that they're... I find, it's, I find it weird the use of freemium. Because freemium, to me, suggests... Like what the sort of microtransactions, almost those mobile games that are freemium. Like, they're free to download and play and stuff. But if you want to chuck us a few bucks here and there, that was fine. But, but it's paid and freemium. I think they're trying to say that even their free advice is premium advice. Um, so we will offer paid and freemium content, including newsletters, idea generation, guidance, and tuition. We move at a speed that suits you. Direct message us on Twitter, find us on Discord, email us to our email address, submit a question on our website, which I think has since disappeared. We'll, we'll look into their bio in a minute. Um, we can aid you to get more eyes and ears on your content. And then in, in quotes, quotation, your brand... In our hand. That seems to be their tagline, which in itself is awful. I'm just, <laughs> your brand in our hand is... No, oh, no. So, this got a bit more interest because people are saying, okay, straight away you're saying you're going to offer some free advice, but you're going to have paid advice. You're going to have, you know, paid services. So, the, the very most basic question that people are going to ask... Let's see what their next tweet was. Um... The next day, we appreciate the positive response we have received from the community. We were inundated with messages, so we won't be able to respond to each one. But we are already starting to make a difference to those who messaged us. All feedback has been collated, and we hope to help all Football Manager content creators who seek our assistance. Now, bearing in mind this is a brand new Twitter account, even now, it only has 208 followers. So it's not like a big Twitter. So inundated might be optimistic, like their introduction tweet had 13 replies and five likes. I don't think it's like they received 50 messages, but that's just me speculating using, well, logic. Um, so it's an interesting start. Like I said, the first question I think many, many people are going to have is, well, who are you? Who are you to be offering advice? And I don't mean that in a rude way. Everybody should be, even if you've never done YouTube, there's still, I get... Comments every day on my channel from people that have never done YouTube, but they offer advice, suggestions, and all that good stuff, and some can be useful. What I'm saying is, if you are offering freemium, I hate that word, and, and paid advice, tell me what it is that makes me want to give you money. To You can't just be a random person. If you had a random person on the streets that approached you and just went, hey, mate, um, or no, even better example, um, I was chatting to Buddha, and, and I... And, the example would be, you get on a plane and you meet the pilot, and you and and the pilot says, 
Yeah, no, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a pilot. I said, cool, are you trained, you know, are you, you must have all the qualifications. Oh, no, no, you know, well, I can't tell you. No, no, you need to tell, you need to tell me. If I, if I'm a brand, if my channel, if I decide to go to a proper marketing company, I'm going to go there, I'm going to check reviews, I'm going to find out what qualifications, what expertise, who have they worked with before, I'm going to look at p- people that have used them and get feedback and all that sort of stuff. That's, that's, you wouldn't pay someone blind because they told you they're really good. So a lot of the initial sort of, hang on a minute, who, who are you? Um, Lots of replies, Northman, as blunt as ever. Well, I can't wait to see the shit storm and pay device side will cause if it doesn't live up to expectations. You are certainly setting yourself a high bar. Really curious as to running as have the experience, exactly, experience to charge to us to improve our content. Um, lots of people just generally confused. Uh, people asking what would be free and what will you charge for? It was just kind of, it became sort of like, what? Mm, uh, okay. Um <clears throat> And uh, so, you know, they, they, they carried on. And as they sort of posted more things here, for instance, another day, busy day, consulting with the many who have contacted our team. If a, res- if a response to your message has not come through yet, please be patient. We reply to all messages and emails in good time. The warm welcome from the community seems to have worn off a little bit. Despite a few negative comments, we are busier than ever appraising clients. Want to find out more about services? Please get in touch and begin your journey today. Your brand in our hand. Um, I think there's a little bit of, you know, bigger themselves up there. I don't think they got inundated, but fair enough. You're a brand, you know, you want to look like you're busy. That's, that's kind of standard one-on-one. So it encourages more people to go, but we don't know anything about these people yet, which is, is bonkers. Um, I don't think they have a website. No, they, um, yeah, FM Council at consultants dot com. Um, <laughs> when I sort of this first, you know, people will tweet me stuff that they've said. I didn't know about this until sort of a little bit, a few days into it. Is that I actually thought this was almost a troll account because any company or any consultant worth anything will explain to everyone who they are first. If this account at starting welcome to fn council um we've got three people here we don't like you just say we've got three people here um combined we have 15 years experience doing seo and branding advice we worked for this x y and z company here is our professional looking website where you can see some reviews from people some feedback that we've got some people that we've helped that sort of thing if you're a brand new company that doesn't have that feedback you'll learn you know you'll waiting for your first feedback, you'd sort of suggest that, well, we have experience in, in, in marketing or SEO, SEO search engine optimization, all the sort of things that might help with YouTube. We, we, we edit videos for a living. I've got five years experience, you know, all that sort of stuff, but they haven't given us any information. And that was the single biggest backlash, um, that they were getting early on was, who are you? Not your names. I don't need to know your date of birth and where you live. Who are you in relation to being able to offer paid advice? Um, and then they sort of, you know, some standard sort of images here. Um, so do you have a talent for creating content? Want to reach a wider audience? FMC are looking for logo, graphic and thumbnail creators to become part of the busy and growing team. Becoming an FM approved crea- FMC approved creator couldn't be simpler. Just send that as an example of your work. All this sounds like fine if it was coming from a company that you knew did this, but we know nothing. Um, so it, we, it carries on. Um, so Dave has a party jumping in there, you know, he loves a bit of cash. Um, <laughs> and he is very, to be fair, very good at thumbnails. And I, I, anybody that was like, yeah, okay, cool. I don't mind offering my services as a thumbnail creator for a bit of cash. Cool. So then it came to this post freemium. We asked one of our senior team. I like the fact they're big enough that it's a team. Maybe two people like there's, there's no money to be made here currently their brand new company with, if you think about it, they're aiming it towards the football manager market, football manager, YouTube market, which is the nichest of niche. Being a football manager, YouTuber is, is, is a tiny niche. 
being a consultant to Football Manager YouTube channel is, is a minuscule niche, right? So our first freemium Friday. So they're offering free advice. Excellent stuff. Again, weird that they're not using hashtag FM18 or, F, you know, Football Manager in their hashtags, you know, because bearing in mind, these are experts in marketing. So you'd think, but okay. Um, so basically a little a little page here with, with various different um, bits of advice. Now, nothing wrong with the advice at all. Be consistent. Interact with your audience. Consider your personal brand. Use the best quality equipment you can. Network. Nothing, nothing is wrong with any of this advice. It's the most basic of advice. You know, talk to your subscribers. Talk to other people. Use the best equipment you can. It's good. It's a good job they said that because I've got a £6,000 microphone, but I've been choosing to use this piece of shit snowball for ages. Like, of course you're going to use the best equipment you can. You know, it's all good advice, but the most basic advice. But that's fine. It's free free for everybody. There you go. You can have some of that. Um, <clears throat> so um, let me have a clarification coming up. So we're on July 16th now. Um, for attention to the FM community, we feel that it's time to ourselves to FM Council to address some co comments and speculations made by members of the community on the social media forum of Twitter. So... Like I said, the single biggest thing is, who are you? Are you qualified? Do you have experience? Do you have your own YouTube channel that's really successful? Give us something that makes us trust you to give you money to give advice. I have zero problem in any companies that exist to offer consultation. At the end of the day, there is a bunch of us YouTubers that do this full time. And if there's a possibility of a full-time employment then there should and there will exist companies that help those people you know help create the new you know people that are going to become full-time and stuff the aspiring people that's i have no problem with that i think i even have a patreon level where um for like a hundred dollars i will basically spend time with you on your own channel and we'll work out stuff and all sorts of stuff you know hours of consultation and all that sort of good stuff and it just exists because a couple of people ask for it i but i don't need to tell people who i am everybody knows that's going to be coming to me already knows i have a, a successful football manager youtube channel i do this for a living so i i have the proof there is this is why my advice is actually useful because you can see that i'm doing well right Simple case. So that was the biggest thing. Who are you? We have been warmly welcomed by the clear majority of the online community and have already helped numerous people who have reached out to us on DM and email. Unfortunately, there's been a minority who have sought to use our name for their own vain social media metrics. Sort of error one, or error two, not telling us about their qualifications, experience and stuff, but if you're dealing in social media, which they are, this is their main platform for communication, you don't start insulting people even if you're getting a torrent of abuse right every youtuber that's any size on the planet gets plenty of abuse whether it's in comments whether it's in dms or tweets or facebook posts instagram posts whatever it is they'll get abuse now most youtubers realize that just ignore those things. It, totally ignore those things. Because if you start biting back, you get a reputation for maybe being a bit of a dickhead, even though it's kind of understandable. You just rise above it. So if you're trying to sell yourself as a brand as how to market, you don't really want to start calling people, um, you know, basically using their name as their own vain social media metrics. And this sentence would only ever make sense if they were a popular Twitter account. Like if I made fun of... Philip DeFranco, then that might get some traction because he's got hundreds of thousands or millions of Twitter followers and YouTube followers. So if I started having a go at him, it might be pretty negative, but I might get more followers. Everybody loves the drama. So that me insulting or anybody insulting a chat, uh, uh, an account, and at this time, it's, it's 208 followers now. It was 100 followers when they posted this. It's not going to help your... What is it? Vain social media metrics. Um, it has been common theme over the last week to address hatred or disgust towards our account. And we believe this is purely based on speculation. The reason why that's the case is because you haven't told us anything about who you are. We don't know if you're a 20 year veteran 
of YouTube and social media and marketing and you're a fucking genius or we don't know you're an absolute fuckwit who we, we have no idea. We have, that's why it's speculation. If you want to, it says, when we started, we made clear that we wanted to help the FM community and we're willing to offer both freemium and paid services. The suggestion that we have demanded payment for the simplest elements of our service is incorrect and the work of certain accounts determined to discredit us. Um, we have also been the subject of speculation as to our identities. This is where they seem to get the massive wrong end of the stick or are purposely hiding. Um, an issue which, which we have addressed on several occasions. We are long-time players of Football Manager, so they play the game. That's a good start. But have recently reached out to... Oh, that's it. No, 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 that's it. Um, some guys that play Football Manager, so they know how to do marketing, social media, all that sort of stuff. Um, but have recently reached out into the FM Twitter community. Twitter is a world which is built on the use of pseudonyms. The names we have chosen is FM Council. We also wish... So then... They seem to think that we we want their real names. I don't want to burst the bubble for anybody, but my actual real name is not Loki Doki. Everybody's got a pseudonym. Even Ben, who's real late, Dr. Benji, his real life name is Ben, but it's still Dr. Benji. I don't want to, spoiler alert, he's not a doctor. They're all pseudonyms. Nobody's asking for your like date of birth and your, your birth certificate and your passport number. We want to know, in relation to the fact you're offering paid things, why should people pay you? What experience do you have? Other than that you play Football Manager, right? And I think it was at this point that I tweeted that I thought it was a troll account. And, and you know, if it's a fun troll account by a regular Football Manager, either YouTuber or watcher or whatever it is, I thought, you know, good for you. But this has dragged on a long time. Um we have also we initially yeah, 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 yeah. Twitter as well, which is based on the use of pseudonyms, the names we have chosen for FM Council. We also want to clarify that we are a group that believes in equality, regardless of whatever you have, a large or small following. You deserve the same level of support and attention from us. There is no fast track system in place based on your popularity. Fine. We hope, and that's it. <laughs> we hope this can put. Any wild speculation to rest? No, it doesn't answer the questions. We look forward to continuing to help members of the FM community dependent on their needs or desires. As always, please contact us directly. Blah, 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 blah. Your brand in our hand. If you want me to do some voiceover work, FM Council, I'm available. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And and as you'll see from a lot of the replies, it's... it's I replied with... With you, you have missed the point entirely. People don't want to know what qual people don't want to know what qualifies you to. Okay, I've, I've misworded that. Want to know what <laughs> qualifies you to offer paid advice? It's really not that complex, and everybody else is saying the sort of same thing. Like, like Lelujo doesn't clarify anything. Just because you've been playing FM for a long time doesn't mean you we want to know your qualification. It it's not rocket science. Okay, so we can't wait to offer consultation on FM19. They've, they've got the hashtags in, boys. Yeah, yeah, smart thinking. It's only taken them almost a month to get that one. Um, contact today. You're coming soon. Hungry for Football Manager 2019 from August. We will be offering help selecting the best team and league for you. To, <laughs> for you. <laughs> so, like, you're starting a new save and you're not sure who you want to manage. They're the guys. They're the guys to go to. Or just make up your own mind or ask any streamer, YouTuber. Just tweet out, what team shall I manage? What's a fun team? No, no, specialists, lads. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, uh, uh. so that's proudly just having a laugh. Um, so lots of people are having a go and joking. It's become, a, at this point, it's become a meme. So people are, you know, messing about and stuff. That's a good one for Proudly, to be fair. We read your channel. It's hot as shit. Delete it immediately. <laughs> he didn't obviously pay £100. That's a joke. Um, but even with this tweet here, clearly a joke from Proudly. Anybody with half a brain cell. But this says, um, this was not sent by our team. Please note that our email address is fmcouncilconsultant.com. We fear the email you received may have been a scam as the price you paid does not match our support packages. If you have concerns, please... So what they've done is taken, an, what they seem to be doing is this troll account seems to be playing the straight card, you know, the straight man card, not sexuality, in that even though it's a clear joke, rather than going, oh, brilliant, you know, good one, or that's not us, they kind of take it overly serious and say, well, there must be a scam. 
So this is what makes me think this whole thing is a bit of a troll account. But it's fun. It's beautifully fun. Um, and I kind of left it after this. I saw that it was clearly a troll account back in sort of middle of July and thought, OK, move on. You know, that was fun for a couple of days, but let's all move on to something else until they until later on. We'll see what happens. Um, do, 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 do. Um, so we have regarding the recent growth of a former clients. So this was in reference to a guy called Mickey P who is a budding YouTuber. He's tried a couple of times with YouTube channels. Um, and I think, you know, it makes sense because they offer a, a chunk of free advice to ping him a DM and say, can I have your bit of free advice, please? You know, it, it might be really useful. Um, Mickey P, one of them, I think he's quite sort of desperate to become a YouTuber. And this is where I think the joke, or if this is a joke, where it hurts people. If this is serious, or if this is a troll account or a joke, this, there is people out there that really want to become successful YouTubers, and they this is what irks me, and they will get suckered into it, because they're, they're desperate. They really want to do it. They think it might help. But getting free advice, so they got, I think it was Mickey P, who got some free advice um, through email or DM and stuff like that to help his channel. Great. You know, always good to go searching for information to grow your channel. And then he had a weird thing where he went from about his new YouTube channel. He went from, I don't know what the numbers are exactly, but it was something like he went from 50 subscribers to 600 subscribers overnight. And there was nothing on his channel that blew up. The views hadn't gone up. So his views were getting like 10, 15 views a video, but then he just got 600 subscribers. So the, clearly those 600 subscribers hadn't actually watched any of his videos, meaning that those 600 subscribers weren't real. They were bought. There's plenty of places you can buy subscribers online. It is against terms and conditions, but it's quite hard to track down. A lot of the times these will be places like India or China where they have people basically making new accounts, following you could even pay for extra comments, extra likes and stuff like that. They're relatively easy to spot. And people were, and I, because this is where they, the jo if it is a joke, they're taking advantage is that I don't know whether they did it. I'm not going to accuse them of it. I don't know if it was somebody else did it. I don't know if it was Mickey P did it, whatever, whoever it was. This is a shitty thing to do because these sort of things can get accounts banned. So they had to make a thing saying we wrongly assume the advice we, oh yeah, because they, because Mickey P basically the next day tweeted because he didn't realize he sort of went, oh, my God, thank you so much, FM Council. We, I got to 700 subscribers in overnight. It's, it's amazing. And they were like, you're welcome. Aren't we great? And so they had to release this statement saying regarding the recent growth of former clients, we wrongly assumed that the advice we gave helped to boost the defendant's brand. This is why it's a joke, because they use such weird wording. And this his channel grew organically. Which, if you had half a brain cell or knew what you were doing at all, you would know it's not organic. It's clearly not organic. So either you bought them yourselves and you're just trying to cover your traces or you're a fucking idiot. So either of those two is not a good outcome. Um, they would like to distance themselves from this situation. We've been asked, alerted to some unauthorized counseling services appearing to the last few days. So urging our clients not to give out personal details to these accounts. Right? Just horseshit. Um, <clears throat> so, Yeah. So I tweeted saying, I am enjoying your, because I'm assuming it's a troll account at this point. I'm enjoying your troll account, offering advice. It's been pretty fun. But if you indeed buy subs for someone else's channel as a joke, you risk getting that channel banned. And that is going way too far. End the joke, please. Um, they can categorically state that we have never bought subscribers for ourselves, clearly, or on behalf of anyone. We rely on word of mouth reviews and give honest advice designed to help those who contact us. The anomaly which has appeared in the community today is not our doing. Right, fine. Um, so now they start offering graphics and logos or kits because they've recruited some people um, to do it for them. Um, and then we'll sort of skip forward a little bit. Some more tips. Be consistent. I think that was on their first one. Build a backlog. The advantage of recording videos over streaming life is that you can produce content at any time you wish. Bulk recording a number of videos could be a good habit to start so that you can drip feed your content. I'd actually totally disagree with that, especially when you're talking football manager, because 
if you recorded 10 videos in a row, you later on maybe when you're doing tons of videos and stuff like that, I do a, f a bit more bulk recording now. But in the early days, you want to release a video, get comments and feedback and suggestions, and then implement that into your next video. That guy suggests signing so-and-so. You can then talk about it in the next episode, and you build that relationship with your community. They see that you're reading comments. So th for me, that's bollocks. Um, search engine optimization, take take on the right feedback, um, utilize other media for auxiliary content, build a community, like all very, very standard stuff. But free advice is is good advice, unless it's wrong advice, in which case, ignore it. <laughs> well, um, so we moved on a little bit. Uh, plan for FM19, provide FM clarity, provide FM19 clarity, consolidate your FM19 offering, accelerate content cycle. Um so, you know, a lot of this stuff you'd see on any marketing website, but again, I don't want to sort of exaggerate the point, but we don't, what, all we know about them is that they play football manager and that is nothing, almost, the football manager part is irrelevant. The, being a watcher of content is only a tiny part, like how are you offering advice on the, all the other spectrum? Um, so this was an interesting announcement, um, looking to increase your content coverage, why not affiliate yourself um, with a real life club, we have links to 58 of the 92 English league clubs, as well as a large. This is just bollocks. What will happen? They haven't got links. They've, they've got links in the same way I've got links. You put in Google search for a club and it comes up with their website and email address. What they'll do is let's say you go, actually, I want to do a Barnsley save. Um, have you got any links with them? And then they'll email Barnsley on your behalf, introducing themselves, saying this guy wants to work with you. When in reality, you could just do that yourself. Um, <laughs> then they changed their logo. We have listened to feedback from our previous logo. Didn't really suit our clientele. So after much deliberation, we opted for this crisp, clean look, um, which is fine. It's a, it's a round circle with FMC and like standard font. Um, it turned out previous their previous logo, bearing in mind they're experts in the field, um, they just got from Flatacon, which is the largest database of free vector icons, and they just used one of them. <laughs> so they changed it. That's fine. Do what you do. Um, okay. So schedule, sharing, substance. A lot of these are basically the same advice but reworded. I think what, you, what you're what you offering by doing this freemium Friday is sort of painting yourself into a corner because it's going to be hard every week to come up with four or five brand new things. It would be easy if it was specific points, but they're very sort of open-ended. So it's kind of just reworded stuff. Um, so they've just performed their 50th free opening consultation. Thank you to all that. That's great, you know. Um, and this was July 30th. So um, we have excited to take the next step with many of you. For those not yet felt the effects of FMC process, please get in touch and start your journey with FMC. Uh, your brand in our hand. So then, my friends, something something happened. Something, whether this guy, whoever's running this account, did not have a good night's sleep, or is Mrs. cheated on? Is Mrs. cheated on him, or anything else? Um, they just started attacking everybody that had negatively commented. First, we've got Kev, so they, you know, Kev was the most. He he basically sorry Lelujo basically was quite open and honest and said, "Look, you know what? Give me the advice, and if it is actually useful, I will promote your offering." For free. I will promote you and say, guys, check them out. They're really good. In any other company's world, a brand new startup company with no following whatsoever. Lelujo's one of the biggest football manager YouTubers. You'd bite their fucking hand off. You would spend every hour of every day working on the most amazing epic design plan to help his channel. Because if you could win Kev over with that, those ideas, right? You get a free advert on a channel with 35,000 subscribers of football manager. You're golden, right? But they just they just refuse to. Um, well, thank you for the the offer, which is after he offered to do that. Uh, we're currently busy. Uh, so Kev just went, I tried, don't use them. Um, while we had planned to do good and tried to give advice to as many people as possible, wanted large accounts such as Lujo gave us no chance. Well, they did. He literally offered you and you said no. You, 
That's, that's the definition of a chance, right? Don't use them and don't touch them with a barge pole. Open the door for some of his fans to use pretty nasty terms. And I, I don't, and I don't want you guys to go over there and send them abuse, right? I, um, I think it's horrible when that happens. It's always the problem of any Twitter account that has any sort of following, even if like talking a couple of hundred, is that if you badmouth somebody because you have a problem with them or whatever on Twitter, you don't have to say anything, but what will happen is your followers will then attack that person as well. Don't fucking do that. You're just being a knobhead. Even if you think this is a horrible account and stuff like that, great. Block it, ignore it, move on from it. I'm, I'm what, like I said, the reason I'm, that I, that I'm even talking about this now is not only that they just treated me today with a bit of random shit, but also because... There is people that I know are that desperate to become YouTubers, to become FM YouTubers, that they will pay money for a service, paying money to people that they have no idea who are. Um, yeah, look, just to clarify, I offered to pay them. Pay them. Kev was offering to pay them for the pleasure of advertising their product to 30,000 people of their target market. If they were legit, they'd bite my arm off. Yeah, busy. Once these are clear, we would be glad to provide... Uh, it's, it's, bon you jump, you drop everything because this is your golden ticket. Okay, so then uh, this is legit. You're, you're not in the community. You are toxic venoms trying to destroy the community. So they're basically screenshotting every bad tweet they've had. Um, and like I said, I don't, you know, I can understand criticism. Like in this video, I'm critical of them, but I'm giving them props where I think they should get props. I'm not name calling or anything because it doesn't serve any purpose. Um, so they, they, you know, this this joke, remember this joke from Proudy? Hilarious. More mocking from an account with a large following who fails to see on the other side of our usernames are people who are trying to do some good. Opens the door for more abuse directed our way. So this is all on the same, like within minutes of each other. They'd saved up a bunch. Um, the state of this tweet is contrary to their own words, laughable. Um, we can only wonder why we assume a 35-year-old person would abuse another person. Like... Why you f are confused as to why people abuse people over Twitter? Have you not seen a Twitter? How do you... You're experts. Twitter is a cesspool of dog shit and donkey bollocks. And it is... They're so, sort of surprised that a 35-year-old man would abuse somebody on Twitter. Hello? What? And this is not even... Oh, my God, he said hashtag douchebags. I'll take it back. That is disgusting. FM Don, you should be disgusting. <laughs> Um, the large creators really sticking together as if as if we have a little conference call every week to see who we can abuse. You'll know me. I've never abused anyone on Twitter in my entire life. And I just made a that you saw it. That tweet about the troll account, you're hurting you could actually hurt other people that are desperate to become YouTubers is the comment I made. Um calls us a troll account again making it seem normal to degrade someone else and the door is open for his many followers to send us abuse. Um, powerful Fox with the classic tweet, get it fuck. Um, and then, but this is all in the same minute, right? You make me want to puke. <laughs> um, more abuse, yeah. And remember what we spoke about earlier, if you're trying to build a, we are a marketing company, you don't see Coca-Cola tweeting out all the abuse they get. You don't see any brand tweeting out all the abuse they get. Why would those brands not do that? Not only because it's common sense to not rile an audience. I'm sure their marketing company, which is what this basically is, would say, yeah, don't do that. That's a really bad idea. Here they are doing it. So not only have they only ever said that they play football manager, they are, <laughs> this is gold. They are then proving that actually they don't know what they're talking about because you wouldn't, you wouldn't do this. Um, <clears throat> users such as Kurt FM and Dr. Benji, who's, who, and they got the wrong Twitter handle, Jose B. Basaris, <laughs> who's tweeted once, is suddenly getting a bunch of tweets, which is epic. We're sorry, we're, we're oh no. Users such as Kurt and FM, Dr. Benji, were some of many accounts to discard our freemium advice saying that it's available from anyone. You simply need to ask. That's all well and good, but we serve up advice on a platter. Our aim? Well, so do I, because I did a 17-part video guide on how to YouTube. Like I said, 
most YouTubers, if you said to them, oh, I'm having trouble with this, they'll help you. We were a helpful bunch. The community is fantastic. So pretending that that's not a thing is ridiculous. Um, and a typical of how we, this can be sway anyone is Rampart. Initially praising some of our work, his tone and tweet then changed to a state that it was generic. I think he replied to this like, do you not get a sense of humor? Um, <clears throat> for a community... It seems that a number of users make it socially acceptable to mock others and their followers, and it's okay to do the same. Um, <laughs> FM Don back with, oh, piss off. You are charging for shit that the community has done for free for years. They don't get it. They don't get understand it. So <clears throat> this, this, my friend, is where we get. There's two more... I I know I've rambled on for long enough. I just find this stuff really interesting because I'm a massive fan of... Well, I'm, I'm I'm a massive fan of entrepreneurship and business, which is part of it. But I also like the stupidity of humans as a race. And I love, I just enjoy it. Um, so today um, is Freemium Friday. So this is the bit where they offer advice. But they're not. They're just going on a rant. Um, the image is way too small to read um for my old person's eyes which is you know great start you know but they're they're experts so let's zoom in our google it's time to come clean and when i first read that i thought oh okay they're finally saying the joke's over it's not funny anymore we at fm council have never received nor asked for any payment so <clears throat> hmm okay so we think back it wasn't too long ago 25 minutes ago about their freemium and paid services so yeah but, okay, we at FM Council have never received not asked for any payment in relation to advice um, on Football Manager co content creation. We have been called a meme and a troll. We are neither of these things. We generally set up this account to help other creators. One confession that we must make is that we never did intend to make any money from this. It was just interesting to see how the community reacted to this. So, so are they trying to spin it? They clearly were. A number of times they said, we read through it, said that there was paid services and freemium services and stuff like this. Um, but now they're saying they never intended to make money of it and out of it. And then also it was interesting, just interesting to see how the community... So were they, so are they trying to pitch that they were pitching a paid service just to see how the community reacted? So was their plan all along just to offer free advice? No, of course it wasn't. They've just realised they missed massively on how this would come across. I think, I think, I don't know who's behind it. I don't care who's behind it, to be honest. It could be a FM YouTuber. It could be uh, just a watcher, a person that was, saw that there was a gap in the market and maybe they can make the most of it. I have no problem with trying to people make a business, an honest business. I have no problem. Good for you. But it kind of just proves that, that they're not really cut out for it. Um, so let's go on. Community. As seemingly newcomers, seemingly, because, you know, they said they play football manager, to the FM Twitter community, it was strange to see the welcome we received immediately and without any reason at all. We've talked about the reason. There was hatred. Many of the times, the ringleaders. Hi there. I'm a ringleader. I'm making a video about it now. How do you feel? Um, of the hatred were some of the big names within the FM community. As you, as you can see by my comment, it wasn't abusive. Um, it wasn't hatred. I was just concerned that even if this was a business idea or a troll account, that if you were praying on people that were desperate to become YouTubers, that would risk money to become a, a better YouTuber, to get more subscribers, m more susceptible people. That's what fucks me off because most people are going to have taken a look at this and go, what the fuck are you doing? You absolutely is, as you can see from the replies. But some people will be desperate enough. And that's, that's disgusting. Um, <clears throat> we were the subject of a discussion on a popular podcast and even the subject of a whole YouTube video by one career. Now it's two, mate. Now it's two. Famous. Hey, hey, hello. Hypocrisy. The biggest complaint about us 
was the inclusion of the word paid. And despite the fact we never once asked for any money, do they see... Do they see offering a paid service as not asking for money? Because you're just off. It's there. It's there if you want it. As opposed to give us a hundred quid. Are they? Are they? Are they trying to use semantics to back out of the fact we never asked for it? You know, there was a paid service that we promote it, but we never actually asked people for money. Um, of the word paid, I've got. A, I've got a picture for you after this that well, well is interesting. Um, the common phrase that. We were charging for something that anybody on Twitter could get for free. Again, we're not. We, we were. It was funny to see this line trotted out by so many people involved in the affiliate and partner schemes from Twitch, with Twitch TV. Monetization of videos on YouTube. Targeted pop-up websites. Designed and requesting money via Patreon and Amazon gift lists. There is nothing at all wrong with these. If people want to pay you, they and you are well entitled to it. The fact that so many ignored this while criticizing us for the same that tickled us. See, this is where you're proving that you actually know absolutely fuck all. If I started a YouTube channel, and in my first video, I said, Hi guys, uh, got a Patreon if you want to support me. Um, there's an Amazon wish list if you want to buy me stuff, and you can send me money here. Um, all good, you know. Then no one would do that. And the reason no one would do that, I might be the most hardworking, likeable, fun-loving video maker in the world. But if that was my first ever video, people would go, I don't know who you are. Why should I help support you? you? You've shown me nothing. You see what I'm getting at here? The reason why people want to support me on Patreon is because I provide with hundreds, thousands of hours of entertainment. People have sat through 190 episodes of a Journeyman series. A big chunk of their life and enjoyed it and gone, you know what? I don't mind chucking this guy a fiver because a lot of people have um, equated it to like Netflix. I watch 100 hours of Netflix every month, so I'm happy to pay that. And people are, are similar. Or they'll have ad block on, so they don't get ads. So they'll say, here, mate, I'll give you $5 a month on Twitch because it's my ad block tax. I've proved to the majority of people that watch me that I am an entertaining chap and I am worth a watch. And therefore, people that know my place in life and my position would ha happily like to support me. That's why... People give money on Patreon. That's why I've got two grand a month on Patreon and I can afford to do this as a full-time job because people, I've proved to people that they like what they see and they want to support me, right? And, and I don't, I don't want to sort of big up the fact that my Patreon is successful. Well, at the end of the day, it fucking is. And you don't get anything. <laughs> There's no exclusive content. So that you trying to say it's the same is just shows your lack of knowledge. It just shows that what you said earlier is true. You're football manager players. You're not anything to do with this marketing, SEO and stuff like this, this social media. You wouldn't have done half the stuff you'd done if you were any sort of expert in social media. Um, <clears throat> Lies. We were approached by one member of the community for help. We gave some simple pointers and over overnight... His YouTube subscriber count had grown substantially. We were accused of buying subscribers. Of course, we. this is going back to the Mickey thing. Um, the member in question subsequently blocked our account and pleaded ignorance as to what had gone on. Whether or not it was the user themselves who bought the subscriber is still to be clarified, but we can categorically deny any wrongdoing on our part. And when it comes, The reason why you get accused of that is because you offer advice and... For no other reason, his subscribers jump up from whatever it was, 50 to 650 overnight, right? Which is bonkers for a football manager YouTube channel to get 600 subscribers in a day. That's nuts. The, 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 niche, the niche we live in is just not that big to sort of get that sort of jump. Um, so it's it. And then the guy's like, oh, my God, thank you. And you're like, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. You you know, you retweeted his tweet with thanks. You know, that's the sort of great advice we give, which is you deleted with. Um, and so I'm not saying you did it, but you can see why you're going to get accused of it. Surely, like you're not stupid. You're not that stupid, right? Surely, you know, I didn't accuse you of it at the time because I, I don't like making baseless accusations. It, it, if I had to guess at somebody, I'd guess you. But because I'm literally guessing i don't 
that's why I didn't accuse you because I have no facts to back that up and I'm not just going to chuck out stuff. <clears throat> Abuse. One... Once the big names got into onto our case, it suddenly became acceptable to direct abuse at our account. Like I said, um, we're nothing but courteous and respectful. Like I said, I don't condone abuse, but you can kind of see why it happened. And maybe when all, literally all the big names, big names, started getting onto your case, instead of going, oh, fucking hell, what are they? Maybe... You're doing something wrong. If it, if everyone's against you, rather than a, just attacking everybody back later on with all your retweets, maybe maybe it's you. Maybe, maybe it's you. Um, identity. We're back to this. This is one a hot topic for so many people. Who we are, as per direction from Doctor Benji FM, we have no entitlement to use Twitter handle as a pseudonym. We're not talking about your real names. Nobody, I don't need to care that your name is Dave Smith. I don't, I don't care. I just don't care. Nobody cares. I want to know why you experienced your ad. Um, and had, have had, and to have any credibility, we must front up and tell everyone who we are. We are FM Council. We started this, we stated this many times, but it didn't seem to help anyone. We are awaiting return by post from the Register of Births, Deaths and Marriages to confirm Dr. Benji is a real legal name for the records. Now, see, you're just getting bitter now. What, Dr. Benji is referring to the same thing as me. I don't need to know as your name is Dave, Malcolm, or Matilda. Why don't you just tell us you're, you're a marketing company. Why should we, as creators, give you money to help us? You need to prove in any way, shape, or form that you have experience, qualifications, expertise in any of the areas that you state. All you have said is you are playing football managers. So one final point, the last little image, which is a gem. We're going to go back to this bit here. Um, that we, um, we never intended to make any money. We never asked for money. We never received any money. It, it was all a bit of fun. I, don't, I still don't know why they, they're trying to do it. Curti, good streamer, Curti FM, if you want to go check him out on Twitch. Um, contacted them as many did as a sort of semi joke to find out more about them so he was in DMs with them an analysis of stream content would come as part of our package options if you would like more information on this please get in touch the document you received was an in-depth as our freemium goes so Curti basically asked for the overview on his streaming he's mainly a streamer he said look okay give us the free advice on my stream what do you reckon or like I said always good to get advice from anyone for free, good stuff. The document we received was in as in depth as our freemium goes, and we believe provides enough tips to begin to see results in return in the return in your content. So, Curti, tongue firmly in cheek. That sounds really interesting. Please let me know what the package options entit entails, and we can just discuss the next step. So, a company that never once asked for money, never wanted money, never intended to make any money has a three-tier package list. <laughs> has a, a three-tier package list that is monthly, right? Um, so you get for, for free, which is their freemium, which is weird. Why didn't you call that the freemium tier? Um, initial consultation and direct message. So you get, you get, they send you a direct message for free, lads. That's how generous they are. Um, assistant tier. So you get the consultation, you get direct messages, but for the money, you get qu quarterly reviews. You pay monthly, but you get a quarterly review. Strategic development, that is about as blue skies. You can that's a, throw a term. Consumer research. Twitter polls to your no 200 followers. It, ha, what? Okay. Social media management, as I think as we've shown from that probably isn't best to get social media management from a company that's just retweeted about 12 tweets of people abusing them saying <laughs> um but but boys manager tier now we're talking you know 30 dollars a month bish bash bosh you get all that stuff but you get graphical resource just one on tap yeah content creation consultation site supervision and best of all, full creator takeover, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> so for a company that's never wanted to make money, never intended to make money, never asked for money, here is their three-tier package list. 
Thank you for getting that to us, Curti. I appreciate it. Like I said, I don't want you to throw abuse at this channel. I have not abused them. Um, I really hate it when people bandwagon and abuse. Try and stay away from that, just in general, if you can. Um, I still don't know if it's a joke. <laughs> I still don't know if it's... I, because it's gone on for so long, I'm now assuming it's not a joke. They are just really bad. And I'm not just having a go at you saying you're bad. I think during this epically long video, which I apologise for, they've proved. They, they don't know social media. They don't know YouTube. The only bit of shred of evidence that they've given us to their experience is that they played football manager. They play football manager. Doesn't make anyone an expert in marketing, does it? Does it really? Um, and just look at these retweets and stuff. I think, like I said, if it was just a troll account or it was just a silly account that that people weren't taking serious. I would have just left it. The fact they started having a go at a bunch of um, creators and fans of Football Manager, when, you know, some of them were being dickheads, right? Some people that tweeted them were, were being a bit of a dick, right? You don't need to abuse people. But lots of them had... Like, FM Dawn, the state of this tweet and contradictions in their own words are laughable. Hashtag douchebags. That... If you think that's abuse, Jesus, have you just met Twitter? Like, this is nothing. This clearly joke from Proudy. Like, a lot of this stuff is valuable feedback. Lelujo offered to pay them money and get give them a shit ton of advertising. And the reason why, the singular reason why I, I, I make this video, because it's, well, the, there's two, because it's fun, because it makes me laugh, because... I see myself as pretty good at business. I absolutely love entrepreneurship. I love businesses. I've started three of my own. I help consult with my nephew who runs his own um, business. And I find it fascinating. And this is like a terrible version of it. So I have that enjoyment and just watching the idiocy that is humans. But secondly, and the biggest reason, and I want to be clear to everyone, there is people out there that want to make it on YouTube. There is, in you see all these like f young kids wanting to be Fortnite streamers or YouTubers and stuff like this and all that sort of stuff. But even in the football manager niche, there is people that are desperate enough to want to make YouTube a thing that they'll risk real life money and real life debt to give themselves a better chance, what they see as a better chance, and they will take a punt on accounts like this, money they might not really have, that they should be spending on other things, or saving, or buying equipment for their YouTube channel, they will take a punt because you guys post lovely images of shit like this, right? And that is why I'm making this video, because you're taking advantage of people that are desperate, and that that's disgusting. So, whether you are a giant troll account, fair play to you if you are, whatever, or whether you are, whether you came into this with good intentions to make a business out of consultation, which, like I said, I have no problem with... You just need to prove that you're worthy of giving people that advice and your advice is worth listening to and even paying for. Because otherwise, just just stop, okay? If you want to carry on, like you've said now that you're not making any, you're, you never intended to make any money. That's a, clearly a lie, but let's, let's just go with it, right? That means uh, from this point on, nine hours ago from making this video, you're not going to charge people for stuff. If you want to carry on giving advice, free advice, your freemium Fridays and all that stuff, fucking go for it. Tr really go for it. I always, whenever looking at, on the internet for stuff and advice from people and, you know, ways to succeed on YouTube or SEO or marketing and all that sort of stuff is that read everything, 
and don't treat it as gospel. Like I said, I pointed out, I didn't go through all the Freemium Friday stuff they did, but, you know, there's stuff in there that's actually useful. But what I tend to do when I was looking to grow when I first started, because I knew nothing about YouTube, was get advice from a ton of different sources, YouTubers, Twitter, articles, videos, tutorials, all this sort of stuff that, that might help. And you see reoccurring themes of what people suggest and you can pluck that. So, you know, somebody might suggest something that's maybe not that useful, but it generally means that others won't as well. So if you're wanting to grow on YouTube, firstly, check out my 17 part video guide. That's completely free. Um, and just do your own research, find your own, find your own people. And, and like I said, approach YouTubers. We're a really friendly bunch. Ask us for advice. Or if you've got a specific question, just tweet us or leave a comment. We're really helpful. So there we go, my friends. This meant to be about a 20-minute video, but it's, you know, it's gone on a while. But I do enjoy a good rant. Um, also, just, I'm just going to leave you on one final point. FM Council, the C should be clearly capitalised, shouldn't it? It should be, a, it should be FMC, right? Your FM Council... A lowercase c makes no sense. Right. <laughs> there we go, my friends. Let me know in the comments. Like I said, don't please don't abuse. Don't send them a Twitter or stuff. Just let it die now. You know, if they want to continue giving advice, then that's fine and stuff. But but I just thought it was very interesting. And don't be suckered into stuff like this. And it's not just FM Council, but other... There's lots of websites that look all fancy and lovely that offer advice that's bad advice. There is so much free advice on the internet that you you probably never need to pay it you could potentially hire someone to do sort of direct consultancy and stuff like that but just general oh mate you want to stream more regularly blah 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 that 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 is all on the internet go search it improve yourself thank you very much for watching Whew. i'm gonna go fishing now bye bye <laughs>